Welcome to Empire Studio. We are filming a, a series on fountain pens with flexible nibs. Most of them are uh, vintage pens. If that is something you're interested in, then stay tuned. We're going to move right along. We had just finished up looking at our gold bond, the Stonite. It had a medium tip with a semi flex nib and that's how and we demonstrated that with these two sentences this is my newest addition newest addition to my my haul we're kind of doing a haul here vintage pen haul this is beautiful this pen i just love it it's so pretty this is probably my one of the prettiest vintage pens that I have. There's another one too. This one is very pretty too. We'll get to this one. I, I think this is super pretty. Um, yeah, most most of my pens though, it's not the um, aesthetic that I'm so excited about. It's more like the performance of the nib. All right, this one is called uh, 05 five two and a half <laughs> okay there we go oh five five two and a half and it also has some writing around here it just says waterman's so it's a waterman's oh five five two and a half it's a lever fill i've not been able to get this off i don't know if some people some folks it's been said that people have glued these together I hope that's not what happened here because if that's the case I'll never be able to get it off but I'm not too concerned with it because in all honesty I don't really mind dipping the pens I don't need to fill it so it's okay you can post it if you want to let's see what kind of ink we have in here I don't really have anything more to say about this pen. It's gorgeous and let's write. Oh, it's got its original ink in it. Oh, it's buttery soft. It writes super smooth. It says New York on the nib as well. Waterman's Ideal New York. It's ideal um, 05. me. I think it's a medium. And I think it's also, it's struggling. No, 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 no. It's a semi. Semi flex. Yeah. Yep. And let's write those sentences to see some, see how it performs. The first sentence I'm going to write you with um, pressure to 
demonstrate the flex. That's a lot of flex. All right, and now without any flex. Or without any pressure. It's so smooth, it's so soft. This color is really pretty. It, it's, um, you know, it reminds me of those colors that, um, I forget the name of the, the producer of these colors, but they come in like bulbs. The ink comes in like a circular, like <laughs> glass ball. And they're coming out with like colors like this, muted colors. And this looks like one of their grays. One of their colors is called Pink Eraser. And it kind of looks like one of those Pink Eraser. I mean, it looks exactly like the Pink Eraser. Okay. Hmm. Well, it's got to be a semi flex because. It cannot jump. A full flex? Could it be a full flex? Well, no, it cannot. It just, it takes too much. It just doesn't compare with the other, with what I'm calling a full flex. It takes a little too much pressure. Although there is a lot of I, I don't think I think it has to have the line variation and you have to take into account how much pressure needs to be applied in order to achieve that line variation and that's where you get the flex that's where the flex comes from the level of flex so I mean let's see so this oh my gosh yeah like this just it's hard not to flex with this like it's uncomfortable excuse me I don't know what the deal is with this. Hmm. Yeah, this is. <laughs> When you get other ones, it makes you reconsider. It's making me feel like reconsidering some of my other ones. But yeah, I'd say this is just high up on the semi-flex scale. It's just high up there. This is beautiful and it writes beautifully. It's so buttery soft. It's one of my favorites. 
Okay, next. I thought this was a commando, but it's not. Okay, Waterman Ideal, 14, Patent Official, Made in USA. Waterman Ideal, 14K, Reg, US, United States Patent, oh. off, official, I guess, Made in USA. And this reminds me a lot of and this reminds me a lot of the commando. But it doesn't say commando right here. So but it has this missing where this was like some kind of crystal thing right here but it always like fell off didn't always fall off but it often fell off like here's the other here's the commando that i've got look at how similar this one doesn't say waterman on the cap it's got those two bands. This is also like that. It's got the same like font. But that says commando. And this one does not. And they write differently. All right. Well, let's see how this one writes. Ah, we haven't got much time. Okay. So this is Waterman. Okay. Ooh, now see, this is fine. This is Flex. Waterman's ideal. It doesn't really... Besides ideal, what is it? Nothing, just ideal. I guess. I don't see any other indica an indication of ever any other name, just ideal. Okay, it is definitely fine. And it's semi-flex. And let's write our sentences. This first one, same, the same as before. This one's gonna, I'm gonna flex for the first sentence. But I think the specialty for this pen is its ability to write a beautiful fine line. I don't think um, the flex is where this one stands out. Although when you're writing Spencerian, it's really nice to get a, a little bit of flex and then that fine, fine line to go with it. That's really nice. And I think this pen is perfect for that. So not all this flexing that I'm doing here 
but um, like this is more of a this is a different kind of writing than Spencerian but in a Spencerian hand this this pen is perfect like I don't want to say perfect because but it's it would be cool ideal okay and now I'm not going to flex down here It doesn't write like the other commando I have, though. Anyway, here it is. It's fine, definitely fine. In semi-flex, it takes a considerable amount of pressure to flex it. It would. It's great for Spencerian writing. So there's that one. Now let's move on. This is an Aurora. It's made in Italy. I don't know if I don't know if it's gonna show up. It's like these. Let's see. If I can get it. Oh, well, it wouldn't show up if I don't have it in the frame. Ah, there we go. Fabrica. There we go. Dip pen. Aurora. Italian. Okay, no words right there. I'm not sure what that means. But. Anyway, so we've got the Aurora right there. So that's what this is, an Aurora. And I don't know, this must be white gold because it says 14K right there. 14K and I'm not sure what it says up here. Very scratchy. Not buttery soft. Okay, Aurora. Is it fine? I'll say. Oh, the name of the pen. That might have been what some of those, what this is. Mm. Okay, so S-E-R-B-A-T. I think this is a medium. Mm, to broad. And semi.
I'll write the I'll write this a sentence one time using a lot of pressure to get to um, show the flex and then one time with no no pressure at all. This pen is so small, you kind of have to post it. Now I'll write without using pressure. This is a pen from Fountain Pen Revolution and it's got their flex nib in it. Their ultra flex nib size five. I don't know what this pen is called, but the nib is called the FPR Ultra Flex. Um, Medium? I'm not applying pressure when I get that. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, if I ask for a fine, and this is what I got. Hmm. It does produce some fine lines, but I don't know about this one. And then I think semi. Semi flex. And I debated about this one because I wanted to put it in a full flex. But let's see. Because it's not far behind, it's it's a very similar to the size six. Let's write our sentences and then decide.
there we go I think the type of um, the color even of ink that you use makes a difference and oranges tend to I don't know they're funny um, this is pumpkin from diamine and and pumpkin actually starts out it's very bright like this but I even though if as, as much as I wash this out <laughs> it's, it, it kind of makes the pumpkin looks a, look a little bit darker but anyway um, I think I'm gonna go with semi flex on this because when I when I try to flex it to more it just railroads on me and so yeah semi flex and medium I think I'll go with medium I can get thinner lines but not super thin all right um, thank you for watching